Who's building? Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Okay. Apparently, boss wants to get this moving. Let's get moving. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Nice. We did good. That's always good. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. Yay, you noticed me. Awesome. So yeah, that was a test. He wanted to make sure that I knew which note I was reading, so I didn't, wasn't just clicking randomly. So that's good. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing mm. within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. Aw, thanks, boss. I appreciate that. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Ooh. Imagine the possibilities. I'm imagining, Grim. I'm imagining. Well, not Grim. I'm imagining fate. I'm imagining. Ooh, the kitty meowed. It's cute. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. See you later, boss. That's super cool. I got 300 doubloons. Woo! So I have $500. What do we got down here, Mortimer? Same old damn glasses. You really want me to take these glasses that bad, don't you? Nope, not doing it. Now waste my money on clothing. I won't do it. Unless something pops up that I'm like super into, I'm not doing it. Alrighty. So there's Grim up here with somebody else. Not Grim, excuse me, Fate. I'm Grim. <coughs> so... Ooh, boy. Let's see, I technically only have a couple more days. I got my money! What's that noise? You know what that noise is by now? It's Cocker. Tragedy strikes as the Sun County Regional Football Team loses their central player in a plane crash. That's sad. Young thug gunned down during a police raid and of a suspected mob hideout. The older minister stumbles off a cliff into the ocean during photo shoot. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but oh my god, no. Okay. CEO of the what? 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 Social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Cool. Okay. Good, you are paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent. Else mistakes may seek to seek sneak into the workplace workflow pipeline. Morning Grim. Forgot to read that first. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you are enjoying the new routine. Fate. Sweet. So science background I have to keep. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. So this calendar is telling me what day it is. It's the that I have three more days until my final review. Okay, Nicholas Zhao. Oh my gosh, is he related to General Zhao? <laughs> Avatar, Last Airbender. This is gonna be fun. Forty-three spy. Nicholas is sent to Cosmopolis from a rival country to learn national secrets. Uh oh, and nobody suspects him of. Because, because they are well integrated sleeper agent. As the success of their mission could have proved ca ca catas catastrophe ca catastrophic, they built a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly attached to them. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. But no, you don't have a medical, you don't have that kind of background. So, how many have people have to die? Two. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open. Archaeologist. Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider. Oh dear god. Se consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Farden, Farden region. Okay, so that might not necessarily mean that he's... Greyfrogger? Naval captain, literally clinical cosmologist. So I only need to kill two humans. But I have to spare anyone with that kind of background. I might have to kill this. He's a science. Archaeology is a science. I have to spare his butt. Why do I have to spare you? But I got it. Because you're a freaking freaking archaeologist. You get to live today. You're lucky. You 
jerk. Okay. Cosmologist. Ten years, Aisha has spent gazing through powerful telescope at the stars all across the universe. Bit by bit, they've become more convinced that the whole world is actually some sort of simulation. A realistic reproduction crafted in binary. Oh dear god. Well, I gotta let you live because you're a cosmologist. You're sciencey. You get to live. Okay, so live, live. I have two lives. Now I only get to kill two people. Naval Captain Benjamin, hailing from a long line of army veterans, decided to join in the Navy, much to the chagrin, chagrin of the rest of their family. Yet soon enough, they found themselves as altogether responsible for distinguished, uh, altogether responsible and distinguished captain of a massive aircraft carrier called the Audacious. Okay, that name is neat. So, what I should do is I should kill the spy because I'm sorry, spies are scared. Not all of them are scary, though. There's a lot of good things that have happened coming from spies. But Cosmetopolis doesn't need that. Henry Birch. Oh. <laughs> I think that's an actual person. Okay, here we go. Henry Birch. Age 43, literary clinic. When the adolescent Henry poked a fellow student with a pen, they realized from the moment onwards that their best friends will only be found on the pages of books, as these friends cannot be choked with pens. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we'll see about that one. We'll put that guy up here for now. Um, Benjamin Avery, naval captain. We already read that. This is the last one I ever read. Paul Volter. Timofey doesn't really think about all the difficult and confusing aspects of life. Their objective is to take a pole, run a bit, and then vault over a bar, no matter how high it has been placed. Simple and elegant. I can kind of see how he died now. So that guy's done. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta kill the Walter. Only because I believe the, the naval captain is gonna be important. I believe he might actually be important. So I only kill two people. These guys gonna let live. Okay, then this guy I'm gonna let live. Because yes, he is a critic, but that was too funny for words. Okay, so I think I got it all set up. I think we're good. Here we go! Day five, done! Oh, I gotta move. Let's see. Go right directly up there, or I could go down here. I didn't get paid yet, so it won't matter what I look at. Here we go. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Oh boy. I'm kind of scared. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Yes! Yay! Thank you! Anyway, Grim. Five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. Nope. I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is living hell. I hate this job. <laughs> I've had a job like that. If you start feeling like this, get out. Get out of this job. I'm serious. Start feeling like this in any job, get the heck out of it. It's not worth it. I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Meh, my job's a job like any other. That's very complacent. You don't want to tell your boss that. Because they'll just figure you don't like this job. They'll literally give you another job that you might not like and won't, probably won't pay as much. I also feel like I'm not killing enough people. I still feel awful about every choice. Perhaps that is for the best. It may keep you connected to the world, holding off the indifference. That makes sense. The reason why I chose that, because I am killing people. It does feel awful for me to have to choose these people, even though it sounds like I'm just making the choices based off of what's presented to me, and I know I have no choice in the matter. I still feel awful about the choices that I'm making. So, and I'm sorry about my voice, I'm very sick right now. But for me, it's like, it's not an easy decision. You're choosing whether or not someone lives or dies. It doesn't matter if they put themselves in that situation or not. Like, I still feel awful about the choices that I make, even though I have to make them. But that's why I said that. This is kind of a good good thing that he says. It's kind of reassuring is that it's for the best that I still feel awful about it because if I felt okay with it, I'm killing people. It's not okay. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Not really. Is there another way? Um, I'm not sure. Absolutely. I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. 
After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. Very true. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Well, that's kind of accusatory. You don't want to accuse your be accusatory towards your boss unless it's really warranted. Um, can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. That might be good. I'm not happy about the situation, no. <sighs> it gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concerns. See, that's good. The office is perennial <clears throat> and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. That sounds like a slogan. <laughs> we know what we are doing. <laughs> totally sounds like that. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Is there a point system? Why do all the profiles prefer people as they... I may ask that question, but... Why haven't ah, I seen underage? the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. That's a good thing. Are there many other offices Countless. and departments? In a myriad. A myriad. Really? Close enough. Anything else? The animals do they have their own department? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. It's crazy. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. But I want to know about the plant department! Okay, fine. I won't ask. Anything else? What about the unliving things building and stuff, though? What is the basis for the oh. profiles? <clears throat> not at all. Do they all influence the world in many ways? Humans can't actually affect anything? You don't sound too sure about that. In all and in none, yes. Humans Turn have some free will. free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Very true. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk. A result of their own deeds and decisions. That's kind of fair. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade. So do not worry about it. So that's the cool part is that you're starting to learn a little bit more about the job, about how the how the job works and what your what your job basically means and what other jobs basically mean. Anything so it's always good else? to ask these kind of questions to know more about the business that you're working in. I'm loving things like plants and stuff. Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? I do actually want to know this question. It's not to be offensive. I'm just curious why the I know the game probably did it just because that way it doesn't offend anybody, but I wanted to hear from him from his storyline perspective. Since this is available to me, why they say they. I'm curious. But I do not mind that they say they. I do, wouldn't mind if they said he or she or whatever. Because I don't mind about that kind of stuff. That doesn't bother me. But I am curious about what he has to say. What fate himself has to say. So I am going to find out this question since I haven't heard anybody actually ask this one yet. An astute observation. You see, Grim. Our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Oh! So, no gender information? No ethnic data? Minimal. Minimal, okay. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. That's pretty cool. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Fair enough. Anything else? I'm not going to ask about the buildings. I don't know if I'm going to ask about buildings. Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. <laughs> but then again, they often feel so alive. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm confusing the heck out of him. Mm, I must ponder. <laughs> this topic is a bit too abstract for now. 
Let us table it. All right, then. I would expect an answer later, Griff. Later, fate. I expect one. Anything else? That's all I can think of. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Griff. He keeps saying Grim. His name is Fate. I'm Grim. Good night, Fate. I got paid money. What do we have down here? We. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. The Cavalera clothing. No craftsman could craft any. Affleek. If this cabaret. Exquisite tasty. No one can deny I'd have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. This is literally the same face I have. Boo the gerbil. Perfectly regular sized toy gerbil made out of rubber. That's just a little bit too much for me. Okay, nothing here I want, actually. Going to bed? Yes. Curious Grim, I got an achievement! Because I asked all the questions. Awesome. Love it. Okay. That was close. I almost marked. I almost marked those uh, profiles with the pen that just appeared out of nowhere and scared the crud out of me. What are we going on here? Historians warn artifact looting on rise, especially in formerly war torn Far Ferdin. Ah, crud. I probably should have killed that guy. Leader, we have to do something about the looting that's re escalating and re escalating the conflict. Shit. Okay. Thesis on Zagist wins second prize at local essay competition. Cosmologist publishes an odd article about the whole existence of being a simulation. Scientific co community baffled and amused. Horrific its accident claims the life of pole vault or misses softening landing pit. Breaks neck. Ugh. Local man dead of poisoning. Intelligence agencies suspect espionage activity. A win for diplomacy. Captain B. Avery de-escalates a tense, tense dispute at the Barisola Peninsula before it reaches conflict. Awesome. Homelessness is a normal nightmare and a failure to society. Oh dear lord. So we might have something to do with homeless people right now. What do we got here? Okay. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. Quota for the day. Total of six humans have to die. That means only two could be spared. At least three humans aged 35 or younger have to die. Spare humans with a medical background. At least three of these have to be 35 or... or, or younger. This is very serious fate. Okay, great. Alright. So let's see what we got here. Saif Hanan is a boxer. Saif has been hitting the punching bag a lot lately, living out the many frustrations of their life. One of them being lower than expected results in matches of late. On the side, they've grown more interested in the unusual stimu simulation world hypothesis. Okay, let's put that to the side. He is younger. So we'll put him over there. Michael St. James. Um, or Mikhail St. James. Age 43, unemployed. Michael's a lover of pizza, especially those with pineapple toppings, as it should be. They attempt attempted to be a millionaire by age 30, but ended up homeless instead. They still do not did not lose their love for writing poems. Okay. 33. Iwa Swainska. Swainska. Age 30. Nurse. Iwa works as a nurse in an intensive care unit, making sure the patients don't suffer more than they have to. Iwa is also a big advocate. Oh, I'm of euthanasia. Oh dear. Sometimes they feel so bad for a patient, they give them the gift of death as an act, act of mercy without really consulting them. Oh dear. Well, I have to spare her. She has a medical background. So I have to spare her, even though she did stupid things. I have to spare her. Oh, come back. There we go. So she's been spared. Let's see. Franklin Haver. 
Age 35, pilot. Franklin considers themselves a hotshot pilot, having modeled their demeanor after an action movie they saw at a young age. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle, and attempt reckless stunts in their aircraft. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy over here. Um, priest program for art student. Student. David Long is a student. David enrolled in university to learn about computer science, but as of late, grades have been dropping. Instead of studying, they've become absorbed in recent hypothesis of the whole world actually being a very convincing civilization. Simulation of civilization. Priest. Nurse. Unemployed. Boxer. So is that the only one with a medical background? Art student. An avid reader, student art history, is rough background. They grew up in a very poor neighborhood. Yet the local economy pooled their meager funds to help her ascend to high education. That's so awesome. Pro gamers started playing competitively. They had a really good shot at making it until they got involved in esports drop dropping scandal. Priest. Risa Gilroy, priest, sixty-three. Risa has tried to be stalwart guy to the spiritually lost over the over the 40 years. They've always been open-minded towards philosophical criticisms. Now in their old age are growing doubtful about the region, religion in general. They are also suspicious of the fundamental dogma that has been slowly creeping into the theology. So I have to kill six people. I have one person that I've already already saved. This guy's unemployed. The boxer doesn't matter too much. Glasses all the time. Our pilot. Pro gamer. Priest. Or student. They have to be at least three humans aged 35 or younger have to die. So it's stipulate 45 and younger right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. Sorry, David. Um, I'm going to spare her. I'm going to let her live. These guys are going to have to kill. I'm sorry. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Sorry. Crud. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's still on there. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I could write on that. I was trying to drag it up on the screen. But oh well. Okay, so we got that. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is it. Pineapple hater. Oh, jeez. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times! No, I wasn't. There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Bad. I did what I had to do. Doesn't mean I like it. I don't like that. Um, right here. There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. Good, good. We have to do what is necessary. Even if we do not fully understand why. Yes, I agree. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't know what happened. Don't you know what happened? You're in charge after all. Nope. Maybe it's an industrial accident of some sort. It felt toxic. Beats me. A day like any other. I don't really care. Death is death. I know it was bad. That's what matters. No. Let's try and actually ask. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Hmm. So something about toxicity. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Good night, fate. 
I'm getting super tired, but I'm so determined to try to at least finish off the week. What do we got here now, Mortar? Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. Got a cactus. Cactus, the most brutal of plants. Nope. Saving my money for something better. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccups. Yes. So I just ended the day, heading back to the office. What happened here in the cocker? A critical look. Something brand, something new and fresh may be brewing in the arts. Nice. More victims found toxic spill claims the life of another homeless person. Oh, lovely. Foolhardy pilot attempts complicated aerial stunt, crushes aircraft straight into the ground. Oh, God. Responsive boxer throws, se throws self off a bridge. A letter found at home says none of it is real anyway. Oh, God. Even if the world was a simulation, the car hitting you is still real enough to be fatal. Thank you. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. Oh, gosh dang it. I killed somebody that like, caused a marketing scheme. Or I didn't kill somebody. I didn't, I, I didn't kill somebody. Morning, Grim. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you the bo just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones may li always lie ahead. Quotas for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Keep vigilant. Fate. Spare humans that might save us from the troubles. I'm gonna put this down here. You are a pain in the ass. I'm gonna put you down there. Hold on. So the seventh day is where the where the where the end is. Erwin Rodemore. is hard. Blowing them around with the leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower starting already at 6 a.m. in the morning. The toxic fumes the machine emits do not actually have to die. I'm so sorry. So there's my two humans that have to die, which means the stupid gang member had to live. Uh, well, at least you could have to get sisters. I chose that guy over that you do. I had to. Oh, I hate my choices so much.
Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? <laughs> Crushing it. Profiles came in. I sent them out. Clockwork. Dismal. I hate everything about this job. I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I've made it this far. No, I think I managed to follow the rules. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. <laughs> now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. All right, then. I see the required profiles are all here. Yay, I did a good job. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Wait, I wanted to ask about today. Yes, what about today? Make a oh, to me, huh? absolutely. Things are already looking up. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. I'm still kind of concerned. It's like, Faith, did you get angry just that one day and that's why all this stuff is happening where I had to kill six people? Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... I'm so nervous. Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. Yay! Thank you! So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. I got a raise! Even more money! Yay! I don't really do this for the money, you know. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Yes, we are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. I will, Fate. I will definitely do that. Just four perfunctionary claps. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. I'm still on that clap. You have earned your four claps. Well done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how long have I had this up? Oh, crap. So I just realized my speaker was up. I'm sorry if nobody could hear me. Shoot, how long has that been up for? Probably since I took a drink of something. When was that? I don't remember. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, so... Much learned many rules to follow. This has been hard. Does it get easier? I think I like that better than more rules. Piece of cake. Like I like ice cream. Let's not be weird. Silly Grim. This was an evaluation period for a reason. Things will only get more severe. Oh boy, that might not have been the right choice. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Yay! That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Yay! Hello, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified when new videos come out. If you want to take a look at other links like my DeviantArt, uh, my Facebook, there are links in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye! What? 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 What?